be hard to believe, but the 2019 General Assembly is already underway. I'm Bruce Scott, President of the Kentucky Medical Association, and I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you the KMA's 2019 legislative priorities, as well as urge you to get involved to ensure that this session is a success for both Kentucky physicians and our patients. Healthcare is always a matter of conversation in the state capitol, and that's why it's important for us to remain engaged and educated on the events unfolding in Frankfurt. The KMA advocacy team spent months preparing for this session and has developed a list of legislative priorities, many of which have already been introduced in both the House and the Senate. First, despite the setback in November from the Kentucky Supreme Court's ruling in the medical review panel's case, professional liability reform will remain a top priority in 2019. It's time to restore the fairness and predictability to our legal liability system. Senate Bill 11, sponsored by Senator Ralph Alvarado, would provide a step in the right direction. The bill proposes an amendment to the Kentucky Constitution, which would allow the General Assembly to limit non-economic monetary damages for injuries and death. It has been assigned to the Senate State and Government Committee. Prior authorization is another KMA priority. The current prior authorization process creates roadblocks for patients trying to access medications, diagnostic tests, and treatments which are recommended by their trusted physician. It increases health care costs and restricts health care providers from doing their jobs effectively. The KMA supports legislation that will remove these roadblocks. Currently filed is Senate Bill 54, also sponsored by Senator Alvarado. This bill would increase transparency, establish one-year approval for chronic disease medications, prevent retrospective denial, improve the review process, and standardize review times and increase access to electronic prior authorization. In short, this bill would enhance physicians' ability to make decisions regarding the care of their patients instead of insurance companies making those decisions. Senate Bill 54 has been assigned to the Senate Banking and Insurance Committee. Another prior authorization bill already filed in the House is Bill 121, sponsored by Representative Kim Moser. The bill would prohibit commercial insurers and Medicaid med managed care organizations from requiring prior authorization for medications prescribed to treat opioid use disorder. Similar legislation has been passed in other states. House Bill 121 has been assigned to the House Health and Family Services Committee. KMA will also make out-of-network billing a top issue. Insurance companies are increasingly narrowing their networks of physicians. As a result, physicians are being forced out of network and issues regarding patient access are growing. Patients are increasingly feeling the impact of the narrower networks through increased cost sharing, often paying the difference between what it costs the physician to provide the service and what the insurer is willing to pay for it, creating surprise insurance gaps. KMA supports legislation that prevent patients from receiving these unanticipated out-of-network bills but also ensures that the payment for the out-of-network care is based on data independent of the insurers and separate from Medicare. Senator Alvarado has already filed Senate Bill 24 to address balanced billing. Senate Bill 24 is designated to provide greater transparency of a health insurer's out-of-network coverage, to broaden the availability of a patient's right to go out-of-network if the insurer's insurance network is inadequate, Ensure that out-of-network benefits are more comprehensive and address payments for covered health care services and surprise bills by out-of-network providers through arbitration to settle the disputes between the providers and the insurers. The bill has been assigned to the Senate Banking and Insurance Committee. In addition, House Bill 138, sponsored by Representative John Sims, also deals with balanced billing and would also prohibit such billing for unanticipated out-of-network care. However, the measure would require insurers to reimburse providers the lower of the bill charge of the usual and customary rate for the services. 
House Bill 138 has been assigned to the House Banking and Insurance Committee. Finally, tobacco-free schools round out the KMA's top list of priorities in 2019. Comprehensive tobacco-free policies on school campuses are powerful tools to reduce tobacco use among teens and adolescents in our state. KMA supports legislation that enacts a statewide comprehensive tobacco-free school law that prohibits the use of tobacco products, including e-cigarettes and vapor products and alternative nicotine delivery products by staff, students, visitors, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, inside all board-owned schools, buildings, vehicles, on board-owned property, and during school-sponsored field trips, sporting events, and all other activities. Representative Kim Moser has filed House Bill 11. This legislation would meet these objectives by the school year 2020-2021. It has been assigned to the House Health and Family Services Committee. Senate Bill 27, sponsored by Senator Alvarado, echoes the same language and has been assigned to the Senate Education Committee. While the KMA team will make all of our efforts to make sure this is a successful year, as it has been in the past, that work cannot be completed without your support, the support of all of our member physicians. One of the easiest ways that you can get involved and make sure your voice is heard is to register and attend the KMA's Physician Day at the Capitol. It's scheduled for Thursday, February 21st in Frankfurt. I urge you to join me at this important event. Registration is free and it's available now at 2019kmapdac.eventbrite.com. I'd also encourage you to sign up for the KMA's new text messaging service, which will bring weekly legislative updates right to your mobile phone. Simply text KMA to 50457. As KMA president, it's been my goal for this year to unite our membership around issues of importance where we can truly make a difference as physicians. The 2019 legislative session gives us the perfect opportunity to share our knowledge and improve the practice of medicine and ultimately the health of the patients across the Commonwealth. Thank you.